Matches version 26.0 has been released and in this video I'm going to show you how you can root your Android device with a custom recovery using Matches version 26.0. Now do note the prerequisite of this video is that you do need to have a custom recovery already installed. If you have a device which does not have a custom recovery installed then you will have to manually patch the boot image using Magis 26.0 and the video for that can be found in the description of this video. Other than that the devices which I have personally owned or I personally own right now steps on how to install a custom recovery like TWRP on those devices can be found in the description of this video now with magic version 26.0 the minimum android version has been bumped up to 6.0 so that is another prerequisite of this video and the next thing you need to do is of course go to the official github page of magisk and we are in the releases section link to this can be found in the description of this video as well so you will scroll down and you need to expand the assets section by tapping on the arrow beside it if it is not already expanded next thing select the magisk apk and if it tells you that the file is harmful select download anyways now once the file has been downloaded successfully the next thing you need is a file manager application which will let you rename files. I am using FX file manager you are free to use any file manager application which you want to. So in my case I will go into main storage and then I will go into the download folder and let us change the view to list view. Now download folder is where you have all the files which you download on your phone directly and as you can see we have the badges version 26.0 apk the first thing we are going to do is we are going to press and hold and make sure it is highlighted and selected and then you're going to select this second option beside the scissors which says copy once you have copied it you will see the option of one copied on the top right so select this and say paste and select ok over here now we have a replica of this file within this same folder so we're going to select this one over here the one which we just pasted and then the three dot menu on the top right and then select rename and we have to change the name from dot apk to dot zip and if you want you can remove the one which has been added in the brackets as well so let us give it the name magisk version 26.0 and make sure you do add the dot in case you delete it and once you've added the dot back select ok so now we have a file with the name as magisk version 26.0.zip next thing we have to do is we have to create a copy of this zip file as well so we're going to press and hold and say copy then one copied and say paste and select ok over here then we have to select this file which we just pasted three dot menu on the top right and say rename and we have to give it the name uninstall.zip and once you've given it the name uninstall.zip we are going to select ok and before you ask me hey manji why are we creating a file with the name uninstall.zip well that is in case you get into a boot loop after flashing magisk all you will have to do is boot back into your custom recovery flash this file which is uninstall.zip and you are good to go next thing we need to do is we need to boot into our custom recovery but before that as you can see over here there is no magisk app device is not rooted and i am connected to the internet so to boot into your custom recovery the step might be different for your device but in my case all i have to do is reboot my device and as soon as the screen goes black all i have to do is press and hold the volume up button and there it is we have the team win splash image on our device which means we are going to boot into our custom recovery now once we have booted into our custom recovery we are going to go into install and then you need to navigate to the folder where you have the magisk zip file in our case we will go into the download folder and installation is as easy as selecting the zip file of magisk do not select uninstall.zip select magisk.zip so we are going to select this one and if you have a device which has dynamic partitions right you might have the option of flashing 
TWRP after flashing a ROM. Uncheck the option of automatically reflash TWRP after flashing a ROM. This option will be present only on devices which have dynamic partitions. If you have a device which does not have a dynamic partition, then this option will not be there. Now, other than this option, if you have the option of wiping cache, make sure that that is also disabled or unchecked. And then we are going to say swipe to confirm flash. And there it is, you can see that Magisk was flashed successfully onto our device. And next up, we are going to say reboot and we are going to select system. Now, once we have booted back into Android, if you go into your application drawer, pretty soon you should have the Magisk app appear. And there it is, you can see that the Magisk app just appeared for us. In case, just in case it does not show up for you after waiting for two or three minutes, then you can go to your file manager application and go to the download folder. And remember we have the Magisk APK over here, go ahead and install this APK. Now for us, the Magisk app showed up, so we're going to select it. And it is telling us that it needs the full version of magisk so make sure you're connected to the internet and we are going to select okay and it is downloading the full version of magisk and there it is we are now getting a message that do you want to update this app so we're going to say update and at this point it is installing the magisk latest version on our devices it was installed successfully and we can go back to our application drawer here it is the magisk app is now present now with version 26.0 you have to perform an additional step and as you can see it is telling me that your device needs reflash magisk to work properly please reinstall magisk with an app recovery mode cannot get correct device info so we are going to select ok over here and by default we are on the install screen so here in what do you need to select you need to select direct install and say let's go once you do that it is actually performing an additional step which is needed with magisk version 26.0 and there it is all done and we're going to say reboot our device one more time now once we've booted back into android if we open the magisk app you will now notice that the device here is rooted so this is the one which tells you that your device is rooted the magisk section installed is 26.0 zygisk i haven't enabled yes ram disk is yes and this here on the bottom is the version of the app and in this case that is also version 26.0 so we have successfully rooted our Android device using a custom recovery and Magisk version 26.0. Now let us assume that you flashed the Magisk version 26.0 zip in your recovery and you went into a boot loop. How are you going to fix that? So well while you are in your boot loop you will have to boot back into your custom recovery. On most devices you have to just press and hold power and volume up together until you boot into your custom recoveries and here it is in my case i am holding volume up while my device is rebooting so that i can boot back into my custom recovery which in this case is twrp so here it is we have the twrp splash image now once you've booted back into your custom recovery while you were in a boot loop let us go back into our install folder and here and you will notice i have the uninstall.zip file and again if you have your dynamic partition device make sure that the option of automatically reflashing twrp is unchecked and then swipe to confirm flash this is going to uninstall magisk as you can see it says magisk version 26.0 uninstaller on the top here it is let us scroll to the top one more time magisk version 26.0 uninstaller was flashed successfully and at this point the next thing we have to do is reboot and select system and your boot loop should be fixed now in my case after flashing the uninstall zip if i go into the magisk app you will notice that magisk over here says not 
applicable, which means that the device is no longer rooted, only the Magisk app is installed. And at this point, if you want, you can go ahead and uninstall the Magisk app as well. And there it is, peeps. That is how you root your Android device running Android 6.0 or above using Magisk version 26.0 and a custom recovery and in case your device gets into a boot loop after flashing magisk we did show you how to fix that as well